In a flagrant case of a Western court bowing to Sharia law, a white Christian woman was sentenced to a whopping nine months in prison merely because of what she said to convicted child gang rapists. Leftists often assure us that the Muslims who inflict oppression and violence are just a tiny minority of extremists, arguing that the majority of Muslims merely want a peace. However, as Europe is already witnessing, their tiny minority of Muslims are fundamentally changing the political, judicial, and social atmosphere of the West to favor Sharia law. Despite being just under 8%, the United Kingdom's Muslim minority is effectively subjugating the non-Muslim majority to its religious laws, giving the world a prediction of just how things will become once their populace doubles, triples, and inevitably becomes the majority. Thanks to the left's perpetual capitulating to this special interest group, non-Muslim Britons are now being imprisoned for insulting Islam and the Muslim community in accordance with Sharia blasphemy laws, while Muslim rapists are given a slap on the wrist or freed in the same courtrooms. On March 7, international headlines exploded at the news that Britain first deputy Jada Franson was sentenced to a staggering 36 weeks, or nine months, in prison for shouting pedophile and foreigner at Muslim migrants convicted of grooming and raping white British children in an Islamic sex ring. On Wednesday, Judge Justin Barron condemned Franson's behavior, ruling that she had committed hate crimes when she demonstrated hostility towards Muslims and their faith, according to The Guardian. Along with France and Britain first leader Paul Golding received 18 weeks in prison after two of three charges against him were dropped, prompting a guilty verdict for religiously aggravated harassment. For years, Franzen and Goldings have called out British authorities' failure to crack down on Muslim rape gangs for fear of being called racist or Islamophobic. Instead, the government has chosen to turn a blind eye, allowing thousands of young white British girls to be groomed, molested, raped, impregnated, and prostituted by Muslim men. In fact, showing just how biased and corrupt the authorities are, Kent police released the mug shots of Franson and Golding, breaking their own rule of only releasing the photos of convicts jailed for more than one year, according to The Independent. The Kent police certainly weren't releasing the mug shots of Muslim offenders unless they earned over a year in prison, proving that the authorities hold offensive speech as a worse crime than raping a child. Franzen and Golding recently gained notoriety in the United States after President Donald Trump retweeted a series of videos posted by Britain First. The clips expose the horrendous brutality perpetrated by some Muslims, whose actions are commanded by the Kirin. Because the mainstream media could not refute the videos, they propagated that the clips shed evidence not on Islam's supremacy, but on Britain first alleged far-right extremist and extreme white supremacist views, as well as their anti-Muslim stances. The Muslims in the videos were never once condemned by the MSM, only by Franzen and Golding. In a desperate bid to discredit Britain first and condemn President Trump, the liberal media even went as far as to claim that one of the videos, which captured a Muslim boy abusing a non-Muslim boy, was later found to be fake. And, of course, they made this allegation based solely on the fact that the Muslim abuser was labeled a Muslim migrant when he was actually the Muslim offspring of migrants. Still, the media purposefully omitted this detail, simply choosing to refer to the video as fake. 
the sentencing is perhaps most disturbing because not only are convicted Muslim child rapists repeatedly given sentences equal to or less than France and Engoldings, but Britain is undeniably mandating Sharia blasphemy laws. Under the guise of hate speech, the UK is punishing non-Muslims for speaking out against Muslim criminals and Islam's tenets. On the other side, Muslims are not being charged with hate speech or hate crimes for inciting followers to kill the unbelievers wherever you find them or carrying out their Quran's unlawful commands. As Britain is finding out, Sharia law does not punish hate speech or hate crimes against religious minorities, only against Muslims and Islam. Britons are already being subjected to harsh sentences for using freedoms that contradict Islamic law, while the Muslim population is still a tiny minority. Imagine what it will be like once their population reaches a large minority or the majority. Just ask the more than 50 Islamic nations in existence today 